Hello YouTube, I'm Tim and welcome to my first DVD update video for 2018. It's January 2018. This will be two parts since I've got two movies coming on um, Tuesday. But I've pretty much done all my movie buying for this month. So let's get into what I've got. First up, Blu-ray I bought from Diabolique. I tried to get one off of Amazon Prime, but they were all without stock and Diabolique DVD had it cheaper. And Garage House Pictures Trailer Trauma Volume 4, or Part 4, Trailer Trauma Part 4, and this is television trauma, so it's all, it's all tr TV commercial trailers for drive-in and grindhouse movies, yeah, gr drive-in ho horror and exploitation movies from the 70s and 80s. And it's over three hours and it's in 4K and digitally mastered in full HD, sound digitally mastered from the original optical tracks, audio commentary with Michael Ginn, Gold, Grady Hendrix, and Chris Pagliali, uh, and then there's Garage House Pictures trailers for other releases, and it's region A, B, and C. You can see, since these are TV commercials, you see like a family of three or four sitting around the TV watching a, some sort of scary movie and the mom is turning into a skeleton. And then you see that the monster coming out of the rug. But let me read what you have on the back. Packed with rarities and familiar faces, trailer trauma digs up previews from dusty corners you'd never imagine existed. Each volume is like a roller coaster ride through film history. Nathaniel Thompson Mondo Digital. Yeah, he does the DVD and Blu ray review site, Mondo Digital. Nathaniel Thompson runs it. But here's the rest of what's on the back. They're wreaked ha they've wreaked havoc at the drive-in. They attacked the all-night horrorthon, and now the terror that began with trailer trauma will invade homes everywhere. A family settles in for a quiet evening of entertainment when suddenly flashing across the television screen themes of utter cinematic insanity, shock, disturb, and forever scar. The fourth volume in the Trailer Trauma series is a marathon of madness featuring 268 of the best and rarest TV spots for the, some of the greatest and most obscure 70s theatrical horror and exploitation films and beyond. Over three hours of demented delirium that will leave you traumatized. Somebody showed... There's like one or two people that showed the list of what was on the trailers that are on this disc, and it looks like there's a bunch of Roger Corman TV commercial trailers on here. That ought, ought to be good. And then there were some Blu-rays and DVDs I ordered from Amazon Prime, and one a Shout Factory title, the... A 70s comedy. One that they got a license to them from Universal Pictures. I guess it's kind of a cult movie comedy from the 70s and it's PG. Car Wash. So, stars or guest stars Franklin AJ. George Carlin, Professor Erwin Corey, who I believe died this past, died in 2017, and then 
Ivan Dixon, Antonio Fargus, Jack Kehoe, Clarence Muse, Lorraine Gary, the Pointer Sisters, Richard Pryor, and um, now this is a comedy in PG, and it's in. 1080p high definition widescreen 1.85 anamorphic in 97 minutes in region A. But four and a half out of four stars, a sunny, lively comedy, Roger Ebert. Everybody is cleaning up and getting down in this classic comedy from the decade that brought you. The tube top, the polyester suit, and lots of good times in just a typical day in the lives of the employees, customers, and passerby of a Los Angeles car wash. There's a would-be robbery, an assembly line of the weirdest, baddest, and shadiest characters you've ever met, and lots of 70s music to pass the hours till quitting time. Featuring outrageously hilarious performances by George Carlin, Professor Irwin Corey, the Pointer Sisters and Richard Pryor as Daddy Rich, a flamboyant reverend, preaches the goodness of the dollar. Car Wash is a timeless classic celebrating an era devoted to living in the fast lane. And special features working at the Car Wash with Otis Day. Car Wash from start to finish with producer Gary Stromberg, radio spots, trailer, and audio commentary with director Michael Schultz. It's part of the Shout Select Blu-ray line. It's number 23. So, Car Wash. Part of Shout Factory Shout Select line. And then, another one, Shout Factory title. And another comedy, but this one's a little bit more naughty. This movie is totally out of control. Directed by John Landis, the Kentucky Fried Movie. Quite hilarious, flawlessly performed. That's Kevin Thomas from the Los Angeles Times. It's rated R, and it's 1.78 high definition in widescreen, 83 minutes, and it's got English subtitles, and DTS Master Audio, Region A locked, and has audio commentary by director John Landis, writers Jerry Zucker, David Zucker, Jim Abrams, and producer Robert K. Weiss, a conversation with David and Jerry Zucker, a feature-length interview with the co-creators of the Kentucky Fried Movie, Airplane, and the Naked Gun about their lives and career from growing up and starting out in show business to their comedy influences and spoofing Midnight Cowboy. As the original trailer and has original mono audio, this film is totally out of control. The original takeoff cult classic from, high, from the highly successful team of David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker, and Airplane and the Naked Gun. This uproariously funny film, TV Guide, launched a thousand laughs and serves as a precursor to the raunch fests of the 80s and the blockbuster success of the Farley Brothers films. Directed by the legendary John Landis, Animal House, and the Blues Brothers, the Kentucky Fried movie features a lewd and loosely connected collection of skits that spoof black exploitation films, news shows, porno movies, TV commercials, kung fu flicks, and more, including well known stars such as Bill Bixby, Donald Sutherland, Tony Dow, George Lazenby, and Henry Gibson. This is a one of kind film featuring over 22 gut-bustingly hilarious segments, including Cleopatra Schwartz, 
the wonderful world of sex, Catholic high school girls in trouble, a fistful of yen, and more. The Kentucky Fried Movie, uncensored, uncut, and unapologetic. This Shout Factory, it's a cult movie, it's not part of a Scream Factory one, so they did do some out outside of the Scream Factory line. And now they've got that Shout Select line, and then a couple of Scream Factory titles in here. One that they got from MGM. 1958 sci-fi horror thriller, Attack of the Puppet People. And this has audio commentary with author and film historian Tom Weaver, and it has the original trailer, and it's in 1080p high definition, widescreen 1.85, and it's 79 minutes English subtitles. In this, this mad doc, this mad doll maker, mad scientist, shrinks a bunch. He's all lonely, so he shrinks a bunch of people down to doll size, so he won't be lonely anymore. It's directed by Bert I. Gordon, who directed *Empire of the Ants* and *The Amazing Colossal Man*. Features all-star cult movie cast including John Agar, er, Nightbreed, The Mole People, and The Brain from Planet Eros, John Hoyt when Worlds Collide, and Susan Gordon from Pitcher Mommy Dead. Ingenious and intriguing variety, she's a living doll, changes from a flattering expression to a terrifying reality when a certified Viably deranged maniac creates a shocking device that shrinks people to foot high figurines. Mr. Franz is a kindly old silver haired doll maker who turns people into living puppets. He then forces his human reinvention to put on parties and sing to him, but one day, tired of being toyed with, the puppets launch an attack, and suddenly Mr. Franz finds he better stop playing and start praying because the miniature mock pets are hell bent on revenge. Doll Dwarfs, Crushing Giant Beasts, Attack of the Puppet People, the Puppet People. This was originally part of a drive-in double bill with the second Amazing Colossal Man movie, War of the Colossal Beast, which so far has only had a standard definition DVD release from Lionsgate. So that's Attack of the Puppet People from Scream Factory, and then I've got one more Scream Factory in here. A long-awaited Blu-ray release of Hell Knight starring Linda Blair, and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, so it has a DVD copy of the movie in there as well. And it's got this the slip cover which has underneath it has this new artwork and then the artwork is reversible and this is a new 4k scan from the best archival film print and it's interviews and commentary with the cast and crew including actress Linda Blair, director Tom D. Simone, producer Bruce Con Curtis and more and TV spots and theatrical trailer. It's rated R. Rent. It's 1.85 widescreen from 1981. And I, from what I heard, the film print that they used was badly damaged, so they had to restore a couple short scenes using standard definition footage. But, let me read the back of this. Scream and you're dead. Uh, 
and in, as an initiation rite into Alpha Sigma Rho fraternity, four pledges must spend a night in Garth Manor, twelve years to the day after the previous resident murdered his entire family. Two of the pledges, Marty and Jeff, ignore the rumors that the now deserted mansion is haunted by a crazed killer. Until one by one, members of the, their group mysteriously disappear. Could this be be a part of a fraternity prank, or is it, or is a demented former tenant seeking revenge? When the seemingly innocent night turns deadly, these college students will do anything to survive Hell Night. Directed by genre filmmaker Tom D. Simone, Reform School Girls and Angel Three: The Final Chapter. This horror classic has a talented young cast, including, including Linda Blair, The Exorcist, Vincent Finn Patton from Rock and Roll High School, Peter Barton from Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter, and Kevin Brophy, The Seduction. Mm. See if you can see that sticker. Classic horror film, finally on Blu-ray, featuring a new 4K Transfer of the film, cast and crew interviews, much more. It was was previously out on DVD from Anchor Bay, but that DVD went out of print. And I happen to have a copy of that DVD, a decent used copy of it, but I haven't watched it. But I will just to compare the two copies of the movie. So that, that is Hell Knight from Scream Factory, and then two Code Red titles that I bought off of Ronin Flicks on Blu-ray. Cut and Run, the one story you won't be seeing on the 6 o'clock news, and it has a slip cut for and the artwork is reversible. And this is one that involves cannibals, and it's an Italian movie, but it's in English. It's mainly English-speaking actors in this movie. Relentless action and unflinching await in the Amazon in the, in the savage cult classic from director Ruggiero Diodato, Cannibal Holocaust and Jungle Holocaust. An ambitious television reporter, er, Lisa Blout, an officer and a gentleman, Prince of Darkness, and her cameraman, Le Leonard Mann, corrupt night school, invest a series of grisly murders, as well as the disappearance of their boss's son, Willie Ames, Eight is Enough, and Zap. But when they trace both stories to the depth, of the jungle, they discover he is a prisoner of a drug cartel led by a renegade colonel, Richard Lynch, the Seven Ups, an invasion USA, and his army of sadistic natives. Now their big scoop hat has become a nightmare of sudden violence where the ultimate assignment is survival. And the most brutal, brutal animal in the jungle is man. Karen Black, the pigs, and killer fish. Michael Berryman, The Hills Have Eyes, John Steiner, The Last Hunter, The Devil Within Her, and Tenebre, or Tenebre, <laughs> and Gabriele Tinti, The Eerie Midnight Horror Show, also known as The Sexorcist, Valentina Forte, Last Fighter, and Eric Lassell, ER, co-star in this infamous shocker with a pounding score by Claudio Simonetti, Opera and Demons, now in a brand new HD presentation, special features, brand new 2K scan of the original US Interpositive, featuring both the R-rated and unrated cuts and its, its standard definition inserts for the unrated bit. But I looked on Mondo Digital's website for a review in those the screen caps they had a those standard definition inserts looked pretty dang good for the most part they were about as clear as they could be for standard definition and this has brand new interviews with 
Willie Ames, Leonard Mann, John Steiner, and Ruggiero Diodato, and it has the trailer. It's 1.78 anamorphic widescreen, unrated, region A locked, and runtime is 86 minutes, I guess, for the R-rated cut, 89 minutes for the unrated. It's 1985, and it's licensed exclusively from Lakeshore Entertainment. So, cut and run. Starring Willie Ames from TV's Eight Is Enough. In the late great Richard Lynch and the still very much living Michael Berryman. And then one other code red one from Ronan Flicks. So it's a women in prison film that people have been waiting for a while to get. The Concrete Jungle, and the artwork is reversible, so this is the new artwork, but it's got the original artwork on the other side. This is has a brand new 2016 2K scan of the original interpositive on-camera interview with stars Tracy Bregman, Sandra Curry, Robert Miano, Mia and director Tom Bisignoni, so... I believe that's the same guy who directed Hell Knight. Uh, it looks like it's the same director of Hell Knight. This is from 1982, region ABC, rated R, anamorphic widescreen 1.78, and it's 99 minutes, English mono. And when her slimy boyfriend Danny, Peter Brown, from the movie Piranha Piranha, uses his unsuspecting girlfriend Elizabeth, Tracy Bregman, Happy Birthday to Me, and Funny Farm to carry a stash of cocaine in her ski, she is nabbed by airport security. After speedy trial, she is sent to the Correctional Institution for Women in California. There, she learns quickly that she must toughen up. She hopes to leave there in one piece. She also eventually finds that the warden, Jill St. John, diamonds are forever, and the Oscar is not only cruel and unsympathetic, but in cahoots with an inmate cat, Barbara Luna from the movie K, the prison's queen bait, B, who is her partner in a drug, a prison drug and prostitution racket. When Elizabeth witnesses a murder committed by Cat and her henchwoman, she spurns her attentions and becomes her enemy. Now see this women, woman in prison classic finally out from a brand new HD master. Yeah. Concrete Jungle. And I believe there's a DVD edition coming out next week. Okay, I got one more Blu ray and then a bunch of DVDs. Okay, well, Dario Argento fans, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get a U.S. Blu-ray release of Suspiria. Well, the wait's over with. Synapse Films has come for, through with the steel book of Suspiria, an exclusive 40th anniversary 4K scan, and it's three discs. Two Blu-rays and one audio CD. So it's a CD soundtrack. 
and this has the the uncut, unrated version of the movie. It doesn't have the R-rated cut with on here that 20th Century Fox owns, but um, I believe this, you know, it's got the slip cover and then the artwork. I think is reversible. But let me read what you get on here. Three disc, two Blu-rays, plus one CD, limited collector's edition containing a new 4K restoration of the original uncut, uncensored Italian 35mm camera negative, exclusively done by Synapse Films with color correction supervised and approved by Suspiria director photography Luciano Tovoli. Exclusive steelbook packaging and O card featuring artwork from Malleus and Van Orton Design and Juan Jose Saladariaga and Chris McGibbon. And it's got the original 4.0-1977 English language. LCRS sound mix not heard since the theatrical release in 1977, presented in high resolution DTS HD MA 96K HD slash 24 bit audio with newly translated removable English subtitles, English SDH subtitles, Italian 5.0. One SRAND mix with removable English subtitle translation. Two audio commentaries by authors and Argento scholars direct Derek Botelho, David Delval, and Troy ha Ho War. Do you know anything about Witches? A 30 minute Spiria visual essay written, edited, and narrated by Michael McKenzie, Susie in Nazi Germany. Feature it on the German locations from Suspiria, a sign from the death of 40 years of Suspiria, an all-new anniversary retrospective on the making of the film and its influence on cinema. Olga Story, interview with star Barbara Magnolfi, original theatrical trailers, TV spots, and radio spots, international classics, English breathing thing letters opening credit sequence from the US release, an alternate all English opening and closing credit sequences playable via seamless branching, exclusive C D remaster of Goblin Suspiria motion picture soundtrack containing additional tracks not included on the original nineteen seventy seven soundtrack release and the special collector's edition booklet containing an American cinematographer interview with Luciano Tovoli, liner notes by, Bear, by Derek Botelho, audio restoration notes by Vincent Piera, and a note from Suspiria director of photography Luciano Tolvi, and booklet cover by Matthew Therian illustration. Blu-ray specifications, region A locked to high definition 1080p widescreen 2.39 presentation AVC audio DTS HD MA English 4.0 surround blah 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 I read that already Subtitles English SDH for English 4.0 and English subtitles for Italian 5.1. It's not rated since this is the uncut, unrated version. So this should be the full 98 minute cut of the film. So Suspiria. From Synapse Films. Stars Jessica Harper from cult movie Phantom of the Paradise, and she was in 
Charles B. Pierce's The Evictors, and then she was also in the Rocky Horror Picture Show sequel, Shock Treatment. So, this ought to be interesting. And I have just a few DVDs, and one's from Hen's Tooth video, it's a another R-rated comedy, The Groove Tube. Insanely funny and out outrageous and irreverent playboy, it's Ken Shapiro film, it, The Groove Tube spoofs television and commercials in an outrageous series of skits, lampooning everything from cooking shows to public service announcements. This fast-paced comedy deftly assaults the medium. Both Chevy Chase and Richard Belzer made their screen debuts in this wild comedy hit, and this includes the original theatrical trailer and chapter search feature cover 74 minutes comedy rated R. It doesn't say if it's region locked or not. And I believe it's full frame. But Ken Shapiro is also in the film, as well as writer, director, and producer. And Lane, Sarah, Son, and Jennifer Wells also appear in the movie. So the groove tube. Something like Kentucky Fried Movie and another movie from the 70s called Tunnel Vision. The Groove Tube is a hoot. Time Magazine outrageously funny Saturday review. And some of these are double dips. Or I have the Blu-rays already, but I just had to get a DVD copy. Code Red One distributed by um, Kino Lorber on DVD only since Code Red put out the Blu ray. Ted Hunter starring Kay Lenz, Wayne Crawford, and Stanley Kennelly, J mm, Chadwick, has a brand new 2K scan of the original Interpositive. It's 88 minutes, 1.78 anamorphic widescreen, rated R, region 1. I believe this is something like um, Evil Dead. Black Magic Cure Terror. A voodoo demon from Africa arrives among Miami's Nigerian community, as well as Pastor Bobby Mike. These Miami Baptist Pentecostal Holiness Assemblies and begin de decapita decapitating people and possessing others. Tough Miami cop Wayne Crawford, White Ghost, and God's Bloody Acre, and Jake Speed. He recently found out his wife, June Chadwick's Forbidden World, and this is Final Tap, has a female lover. Investigates the murders with his female partner, Kaylin's. Strip the Kill, The Passage, and Breezy. Steve Can Canali, Fleshburn, and Dillinger also stars in the suspense thriller. That looks like a Wicked Witch of the West, but it's not. It's even uglier than the Wicked Witch of the West. And another code red. DVD only distributed by Kino that the Blu-ray was exclusive to Screen Archives a while back. It's an Italian giallo, Eye in the Labyrinth. It's listed as being rated R, but this was never shown in movie theaters, and the only home video copies of this were gray market bootlegs. It's 94 minutes, 1.78 anamorphic widescreen. Special features a brand new 2015 master. And Julie wrote Rosemary Dexter, The Shoes of a Fisherman, is disturbed by the disappearance of her psychiatrist lover, Luca, horse Frank. After witnessing his murder in a bizarre dream, she follows clues to his whereabouts. 
to a seaside village where she encounters Frank Aldolfo Celli, the Italian connection, who tells her Erluca has indeed been there. Julie's investigation leads her to the house of Berta Alita Valley, who is in Suspiria, and she was in House of Exorcism, where the mystery of the artist's end play deepens and sinister secrets are soon uncovered. Also starring Sybil Downing, reformed schoolgirls, let's see this rare giallo from a brand new master. And you see that, you know, this, you know, this one lady down at the end was in House of Exorcism and in Suspiria, and then you see a girl in a bikini and a guy shirtless and long pants, and they're having fun kissing. And you see a guy that looks like he's got a girl in a hangman's noose. So, I in the labyrinth. It's listed as being from Bryanston Pictures Distributors, but I asked Bill from Code Red if this was really a Bryanston Pictures title, and he said that Bryanston Pictures had been out of business by then or something. Or they went out of business later in either in the late 70s, early 80s, so this wasn't really one of their titles, so I don't know why it says it's from Bryanston Pictures. They never showed it in theaters, let alone put it out on home video. And then I had one more gift card that I got for Christmas, uh, a Walmart.com, a Walmart gift card that I used on Walmart.com, and there was one movie I didn't, I never owned on DVD or Blu-ray, an animated one that I'd been wanting to get, and they ha they still, they sell it on either DVD or Blu-ray, but one of the DVD editions that's still out is a two-disc limited edition. Fire and Ice, and see it's got this neat lenticular cut flip cover. It's a Ralph Bakshi animated sword and sandal fantasy movie, and it features the, the artwork by Conan the Barbarian illustrator Frank Fragetta. It's from 1983, it's 81 minutes, 1.78 anamorphic widescreen, it's region zero, but it's, it's designed for playback on American and Canadian TV, read PG, and disc one extras not read or closed captioned, but it's got optional Subtitles in English, French, and Spanish. And from the director of the original animated Lord of the Rings and the illustrator of Conan the Barbarian, it began as a once-in-a-lifetime collaboration between... Okay, this is annoying. The discs are loose and this hasn't even opened yet. It began as a once-in-a-lifetime collaboration between the two greatest icons of the fantasy genre, controversial animator Ralph Bakshi, director of Fritz the Cat, Wizards, and the original Lord of the Rings, and legendary illustrator Frank Fragetta, creator of the iconic Conan the Barbarian, Vampirella, and Ag Edgar Rice Burroughs book covers. And another thing about Frank Fragetta, he, he did a bunch of... Uh, artwork for the sexy looking woman called the Egyptian Queen in when Princess Leia is made into Jabba the Hutt slave girl in Return of the Jedi that costume was based 
on that Frank Frigetta artwork. So that's a little bit of trivia for you. Hey, it became, but um, it became this movie. It became one and remains one of the most startling animation epics of all time. Now experience a world unlike any ever any ever seen where savage warriors, horrific monsters, and luscious maidens battle for the soul of a civilization in the time of good and evil, pleasure and pain, and fire and ice. This long unavailable cult favorite has been remastered in high definition from the original vault elements remixing remixed in stunning 6.1 DPS ES and 5.1 Dolby Digital Surround EX and loaded with exciting extras. Disc 2 contain Frajetta Painting with Fire, the acclaimed 93-minute documentary that explores the remarkable life and career of the man who changed fantasy art forever. Extras, Disc 1 audio commentary with producer director Ralph Bakshi the, as the making of fire and ice. Bakshi on Frigetta. Sean Hannon's diary notes behind the scenes skill gallery and theatrical trailer. And then just two Frigetta painting with fire interviews with Frank Frigetta. And I believe he, yeah, he died. So there's got to be something that was done a long time ago. And it's got interviews with comic legends Bernie Wright, Dave Stevens, William Stout, Neil Adams, directors Ralph Bakshi and John Milius, demonic rocker Glenn Danzig, and much more. And it that features audio commentary with director Lance Lastina and producer Jeremy J. Di Fiore. So Fire and Ice from Blue Underground. And okay, this is going to make me a little bit dizzy looking at this. Fantastic Monsters and Nightmarish Visions the, and Gods of Action. Archer Winston, New York Post. So sort of a flat 3D image that will might cause you to get dizzy from looking at it. It's kind of annoying. The discs were loose, but now to do a recap of everything. Now let's get the this microphone closer. Okay, uh, from Code Red and Ronin Flex, The Woman in Prison bl movie on Blu-ray, The Concrete Jungle, and the one cannibal movie from Code Red and Ronin Flex, Cut and Run, starring Michael Berryman and Richard Lynch, while The Concrete Jungle stars Jill St. John, Tracy Bregman, and Barbara Luna. And then from Synapse Films, the steel book of the 40th anniversary 4K restoration of the uncut, unrated version, Adario Argento Suspiria, starring Jessica Harper. And then from, shoot, from Screen Factory, the 50s sci-fi cult classic, Attack of the Puppet People. And also from Scream Factory, the 1981 horror cult classic, Hell Knight, on a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, stars, starring Linda Blair from The Exorcist. And then from Shout Factory, R-rated comedy movie, The Kentucky Fried Movie. And then from Shout Factory, Shout Select Label, 70s PG rated comedy Car Wash. And then from Garage House Pictures, 
trailer trauma uh, part four television trauma the sole tv commercials for various 70s and 80s horror and exploitation movies then from kino and code red the rare italian giallo eye in the labyrinth on dvd and then from kino and code red 1988 drive-in style movie Headhunter, that's Code Red, distributed by Kino on DVD only, and then from from Hen's Tooth Video on DVD, it's titled similar to Kentucky Fried Movie, The Groove Tube, and then from Blue Underground, the two-disc limited edition DVD of the anime is Sword and Sorcery, Fantasy Flick, Fire and Ice. So, that is it for this part one of my DVD and Blu-ray update for January of 2018. I've got two more movies coming on Tuesday. So the second part will be shorter unless I do something else along with it. I might just bring back some of these for part two to show something off from them that I didn't show off and Part one. So that is it, and I'm Tim, and thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for part two coming soon. It should be done next week since I'm getting a couple of DVD movies delivered on Tuesday when they're released. Thanks for watching.